Imagine an ancient tree considered a lost crop inspiring the creation of a social enterprise in a world of fast-moving technology. Today, I introduce you to Baobab Tree and Kaibe, a company with a mission to develop helpful products and to promote economic opportunity in developing countries. Baobab are impressive trees native to the Af African savanna, Madagascar, and Australia. Some trees are anywhere from 500 to several thousand years old. Talk about longevity. You may remember this tree from the Petit Prince and the movie Madagascar. <coughs> the tree belongs to the family of the Bombaceae. Adonsonia grandideri is slender and tall and grows in Madagascar. Adansonia digitata is short and wide, and that's the one I fell in love with, is found in equatorial Africa. The nicknames include monkey bread tree, magic tree, and rat tail tree. The tree is considered the symbol and of Mother Earth and fertility. In Tanzania, women give birth inside the white trunk, not only making it the tree of life, but the tree for a new life. In Kenya, legend has it that gods turned the baobab upside down because it was jealous and whining about the beauty of the hibiscus and the palm tree. The tree bears fruit once a year, large pods hard like coconuts and the size of a football. The fruit dehydrates inside the pod and is harvested only when the pods turn brown. The pods are abundant and one tree may carry more than 500 pods, which are harvested in a sustainable way. The harvest, the pods are pulled off the tree with handmade tools and broken with a machete. The seeds are separated and the pulp is pounded into a fine powder. Men harvest and women process. The fruit is loved by kids and tastes naturally sweet and tangy. Medicinally, baobab fruit powder is used in the treatment of diarrhea, fever, and coughs. And traditionally, it's been used in sauces and preparations such as dawa dawa and drinks such as malambe. In Europe, baobab has been available in France and Italy for several years. I found that it tastes great in smoothies, yogurt, water, and even my popcorn. The fruit powder has an incredible antioxidant profile, six times higher than berries, six times the vitamin C of an orange, four times the potassium of a banana, twice the calcium of a glass of milk, truly making baobab nature's multivitamin tree. In addition, research has shown that baobab fruit increases the growth of bifidobacteria in the gut, essential probiotics that reduce inflammation, making it a very important prebiotic. Polyphenols are researched to have antimicrobial benefits, lower cholesterol, and reduce inflammation. The nutrient profile is unique and more concentrated than any fruit I've studied in the past 25 years. Vital nutrients for a strong immune system, a healthy digestion, and improved sugar handling. All important in the prevention of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, and cancer. The fruit contains 40% seeds, and baobab actually means many seeds. There are, these are high in protein and fatty acids, consumed fresh, roasted, or prepared as a coffee alternative. The precious oil is stable and rich in antioxidants and great for skin care. The leaves used in tea, soups, and spinach, a spinach-like dish like kuka, the medicinal benefits are antihistaminic, anti-asthmatic, and anti-inflammatory. I am truly amazed at how every part of this tree is packed with vital nutrients while growing in one of the driest parts of the world. At first, I was only fascinated with the nutri nutrition profile, but as soon as I learned more about the history and the legend of this tree, Baobab's magic drew me to Africa. Not only did I realize that I could make a difference for people's health, I realized I could make a difference in the livelihood of people that live in the savannah. So off I went to Ghana, a country located in West Africa, considered a model for democracy by President Obama, one of the top 10 fastest growing countries in Africa. Nine out of 10 people in the upper northeast of Ghana are very poor, and only 9% of children in primary school level five and six can read. With assistance of Santa Barbara and Thomas Cole, a humanitarian and specialist in agriculture development, we developed an initial impact study and visited with community leaders in the area of Baoku. We learned about their needs and the potential impact the, the baobab harvest would have on their life. 
I am happy to report that this year's harvest employed 150 collectors, each with an average of five to seven family members, impacting nearly a thousand people. The increased income will allow families to send their children to school, improve their access to health care. We've recently completed the requirements to become USDA organic, ensuring quality, traceability, and transparency. We've developed a relationship with the Baobab Initiative at Penn State, who are providing the special technology to operate in communities to mechanically separate uh, the Baobab pod. I'm really excited to bring an academic component to our project. Kaibei. Kaibei means hi, hello, how are you? In Kusal, the language spoken in the communities we work with. Whenever we would greet people, we'd say Kaibei, and they would answer Lafi Bay with a big smile. I am strong, I am good. And these are my two little friends, Gofrets and Belinda, who visit me every morning while in Bolga Tanga. Kaibei promotes a healthy lifestyle, living good from the inside out, developing quality food and personal care products. Baobab will be available in raw fruit powder, convenient snacks such as bars and chews. We're a vegan, organic, non-GMO, gluten-free company, basically um, completely healthy. Kaibei connects people, our planet, and foods that, really, that is really good for you. I am very motivated to make a difference. Please join us on our journey and watch us grow. Go kaibei.com.